Well, I guess most apps out there don't forget who you are when you close and reopen the app. They store at least enough data to identify you so that you don't need to log in again. We're going to do the same now in our auth service class. To store simple values like the auth info, we can use the async storage API that React Native provides us with. To use this API, we need to pull it into our auth service by requiring React Native and pulling the async storage service from it onto a local variable. Down here, where we know the login was successful, we call the async storage API to store some data for us. We want to store more than one variable, so we use the multiset function. The multiset function takes an array, and in this array, it expects an array for each item that you want to set. For each of these value arrays, the first index is for the key, and the second index is for the value. For the user value, we first have to stringify the results again. Otherwise, the async storage API won't know how to store it. After passing in the values, we need to specify a callback function. If we get an error back on this function, we just throw it again. We also need to bring the code that calls back on the callback function into this callback function over here to ensure that the storage has happened before we notify the caller of the successful login. Now when we test this, Great, it still works. 